spider friend. It's my spider friend. Okay, you sit here. You don't move because I'm scared of you. I don't know why I have a lot of spiders in my house for Halloween because I'm literally terrified of them. But. So in today's video we are going to talk about my fitness journey I am going to talk about my fitness journey and then you listen hopefully um, So I think it's very important to, to tell Because I'm chatting all this like yeah I know what I'm doing kind of thing um, So you kind of need to know my background and why I'm saying what I'm saying um, So I, I'm 31 so if you're new to my channel and you don't really know me um i'm 31 and i am a personal trainer um so i'm originally from hungary i born there obviously you can hear my accent probably i've been living there and i think i was 24 when i moved to the uk um so yeah since then i'm here in the same town and doing what i'm doing so um I always been very active, so I started. Oh my god, I tried so many things when I was younger. So that's you know, like people think their kids do like football and dancing and all these things. So I I, I tried from judo. I tried uh, running, um, gymnastics, everything, swimming, all that stuff. And I hated it, all of it. I didn't like it. Um, and then one day I went to a dance class, which I fall in love with, and since then I'm just dancing. So um, I always been very active because of that. So obviously dancing, I think, is is, a, is an art form, but in the same time, same time is a really really good workout. So like I never had any problems in terms of like body shape and putting on weight and everything when I was dancing. Um, I remember when I was like 45 kilograms, oh my god, well that would be underweight now but obviously I was like a little girl and stuff. So yeah, I've always been very active and then I went to, I, I decided that I'm going to be, one. I want to be a dance teacher. So I went to dance school um, to an interview um, and then they haven't, like they didn't give me the space at the school because they said that I my body shape is not right for it. So because this was like a, a mainly like ballet school thing that because I'm short and I have wider hips and then I always had a sh like a, like curves I always had a shape uh, which lots of times like now I hear from a lot of women that they wish I, they had my body type um, because I have a bigger bum you know I'm I have like a smaller waist and everything but for ballet that's really really wrong so that kind of put put it in in my head that I'm fat. And I'm actually really happy, like so thankful for them not to take me because I think if I was going there and then they constantly tell me that I'm fat and I need to lose weight and I need to change my body shape, which you can, then I think that would damage me so much more mentally. But this is already like kind of give me some some issues. But that, yeah, that I'm happy that I haven't haven't got it. Anyway, so I done that and I've been dancing after so long that I managed to get into a school where I. Um, study theatre dancing so literally done the same thing but a bit more like a wider range because then I had to, um, managed to steer, uh, oh my god I can't speak I managed to learn salsa managed like all these couple dances contemporary um, traditional dances everything so um, so that was I think it was actually better so it's, it's always a reason for everything so I think the reason I'm here right now and then do what I do is because of all these things so I'm very thankful for that um, and then after that, I finished the school and then in Hungary, it's very hard to get jobs in like certain professions. So being a theatre dancer is literally impossible because people kind of die out of the jobs. So they don't necessarily leave it because, you know, it's hard to get it and then everyone stays in their full time jobs. Yeah, so then I went to a rubbish job. So I was there for ages. I have not moved anything. I haven't done anything. Um, and then I moved to the UK where I started to obviously feel really down because I was on my own, I was no family. So I went to the gym and this is where my journey started with fitness. So I tried everything you can imagine. Obviously at the beginning I was only doing, obviously just working out in the gym and then 
doing my thing and then I searched it on YouTube and because I always be moving around like I think my body awareness like what I'm doing with my body is really good so I I never done like squats wrong and then obviously I was stretching a lot and everything but when I started to leave in the UK I put on about 10 kilos so that's a lot especially for me like I'm 5'1 so like yeah that looks so much more than than it is um, so I felt horrible but luckily I, I don't ever look like very overweight if that makes sense so I put on weight really nicely which I'm very thankful for my mother and my father um, but that really really annoyed me and I started to go to the gym and then I was literally in the gym five times a week and every time probably about two to three hours so crazy I like, started working out um, and I used to work at a shop where I met a girl and then she kind of pushed me to go to a course to be become a fitness instructor so she's um, yeah she pushed me so if Kinga you're watching this then thank you so much <laughs> Um, and then we went together, so we'd done our uh, level 2 fitness instructor um, and then after a year later we'd done the level 3 personal training and then obviously since then I managed to do like Zumba qualifications, so I teach Zumba classes um, I teach a lot of different classes um, and then I started to work at a gym which I'm not going to tell you the name of because I don't want to get sued <laughs> I don't even know if I would but yeah I started to work in a gym where I had to be self-employed um, and then at the beginning I really really loved it um, and then I just started to I, I don't know I'm, I'm a really weird one because well not weird it's normal because a lot of people do that but I'm an overthinker so um, when I started to work there I enjoyed it but then I started to see my other colleagues and how what they um, behavior was of some of them or like the members of that gym so like I started to develop an anxiety over training anxiety over eating anxiety over just even going to work so I started to obviously carry on doing it carry on teaching classes and the only workouts I had in the end because I stopped training and I stopped like I wasn't eating I was eating right in front of people but that was starting to binge eat um, and then, um, yeah, I was not draining. So then I started putting weight on again. Then I was feeling horrible because I'm a personal trainer and I'm supposed to look good. Um, okay, that was a message. I'm sorry. Um, I started to feel, yeah, just horrible about myself in general. So obviously anxiety, depression, everything. And there was a time last year when I was really depressed. Uh, but I still had to go in and pretend to my clients that I'm feeling fine and everything is cool. But I just felt horrible because I felt so like overweight and that can't be overweight because I'm a personal trainer. Um, was it last year? No, two years ago actually. And my partner was constantly telling me that I need to leave this gym because it's not good for my mental health and then I'm starting to like go down and it's just horrible. Um, and then I didn't like really listen to him for a long, long, long time. So I was there for two years. And then um, then my posture problem started to develop because I wasn't doing strength uh, training anymore, which I used to do, but I was to carry on teaching Zumba classes and that meant that like, say my quads and my um, adductors and stuff, they got really tight and then hip flexors got super tight. So that's why I might have, I might have my lower back pain all the time. And then now I'm starting to, um, or like try to fix that. But yeah, that was for two years. And then I started to work at another gym, which I am at, right now oh not right now i'm at home but uh, i work there right now um and i'm so happy there like it, it's just so much different it's like the people my colleagues are a bit more i think it's because it's not self-employed they're not it there's no like um hidden competitions because it wasn't there either so like no people didn't take your clients and things like that but it was like a slight competition and i hate competition i i just want to be your friend i don't want to compete with you um so in this gym is because we get a salary everyone's a bit more chill everyone's doing their thing and then everyone's cool like it's lots of laughs and really nice people and um the members are different so it's just not a popular like gym where everyone is big and they think they know what they're doing and if you're not a typical so like i don't really know like how people look at me from the outside if i look like a typical personal trainer but a lot of times you you find personal trainers or they literally look so different than what you would consider as personal trainers 
um, and then they get all the crap from it and I do believe that it's not up to how you look and I mean like obviously don't be like so big and then and then tell people to lose weight but I, I know it's very slim people who are runners and then they're personal trainers and if someone comes in like oh why is this person a personal trainer because they're so skinny um, or I know people who were like double their size and then they lost weight but they still have a little bit of body fat and then they get crap from people because oh yeah the, the fat personal trainer and how I, I just get so angry about this because you don't know where that pers person come from you don't know what they have in, they have in their head you don't know their knowledge you you know you I know that it's like as a type of job where you sell the after how you look you know that I don't know how to explain but if you don't look good you don't really get lots of business which is quite bad but like I'd rather pay for someone who has the knowledge to coach me in a way that I can be the best of myself than have someone because I know personal trainers like that, that they look amazing but literally they have no idea about what they're doing um, and they just get lots of clients because they're good um, looking and they good at like talking to people you know so yeah so like I'm right now in a really good place I was to train <sighs> yeah but three four times a week um, I do Zumba classes um, I'm starting to go back dancing again so that's a really good thing I always start and stop in my life but I always realize every time I stop that I have to go back because that's just what I need to do because that's my thing um, so yeah so I, I always had ups and downs so the whole point of this video is that I'm trying to tell you is don't worry if you have a bad day and then you can't be bothered to move I'm not saying it's good every day but um, I have my ups and downs sometimes you know I had depression I had anxiety I had put a lot of weight on and to be honest, like right now, I'm not the best I could be because I just came back from holiday and I can't completely lost track <laughs> and then I'm on the way to getting back to it. But I, yeah, you know, like my channel is just being, is about being real and then telling everyone how it is because a lot of times I think personal trainers don't really do that, but I do. So yeah, so um, I'm back from my holiday two weeks ago and I am just literally starting to like get back to training and you know don't rush anything because then you're not gonna do it so yeah that's my story um i hope you like this video it was just a bit of a chatting um so you get to know me a little bit more if you're not interested you obviously clicked off the video by now already ages ago if you still here thank you so much to stick around and watch the video and thank you again and again and again and again um, I guess I need to wrap it up now because I can literally talk for days and if you know me you know that um, So yeah, thank you so much for watching if you're new Please make sure you subscribe and give me a like and let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions Or if you have any yeah, literally just any ideas about what videos uh, what do you want me to talk about? Or if you just want me to shut up <laughs> That's great as well. So yeah, thank you guys. See you next time. Bye